Hi, I'm Ken Roy with Armstrong World Industries. I'm in the uh, Architectural Building Products Group uh, working on acoustic technologies. And what we wanted to talk about today was the consequences of the architectural design, specifically in offices and healthcare, on the acoustic outcomes. So what we've drawn here are three scenarios. The standard kind of de design that you'd expect to see in these spaces when confidential privacy is really an issue would be to have a wall that goes from the deck this deck above, continuous through the ceiling plane. What we'd like to look at is the alternative constructions uh, where the wall only goes from the uh, deck below to the ceiling level, leaving the plenum open. And we're only looking at two different configurations of architectural robustness in terms of the material choices between these two cases. When we look at this one here, uh, we have to make an estimation that the uh, people are talking at a raised voice level and that you want to have confidential privacy on the other side. And in doing that, we can calculate the sound transmitted through the wall and through the ceiling plane. And in this particular case where the wall goes from slab to slab, the outcome is that the voice level that intrudes into the receiving side is going to be about 37 dB with a combination. And we always have to compare it for speech privacy relative to the background noise in the space. So if the intruding signal is 37, and we use the ASHRAE uh, design guidelines for the HVAC noise, meaning the air conditioning system noise, it's usually an RC30, which would be 37 dBA. And that tells us that indeed, since the signal that's intruding matches with the background noise in the space, that in fact, the noise is covering the signal and it, you do have confidential privacy. On the other hand, in the case here where we've uh, kept everything the same, the CAC or transmission loss of the ceiling and the CAC, uh, SDC or transmission loss of the wall are exactly the same in this case. The only difference is the wall only goes as high as the ceiling. What we find now is that we get 43 dB of sound being uh, intrusive into the um, listening space compared to 37. And obviously this is uh, about 6 dB higher than the background noise. There will be no confidential privacy in that case you would have to use the uh, electronic masking systems to improve that level. However, if we were more robust and we chose to increase the performance of the ceiling and the performance of the wall, essentially the wall now we're just putting R11 bed insulation in, in the gap, uh, what would the outcome be? Well, we can see that if we look at the paths through the ceiling and wall, again we get a 37 just as we did with the uh, slab to slab wall. And it tells us that uh, with this level of background noise, we should again be able to attain uh, confidential speech privacy. So what it says is, architecturally, this system and this system are giving us the same end result. We're just choosing a little bit more robustly on the wall and ceiling combinations, but we don't need to have the extra expense of taking it all the way up to the top of the slab.